Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. On August 1, 2025, Hangzhou Piyulin Technology delivered China's first semiconductor-grade nano-imprint lithography stepper, the PLSR. This machine can stamp silicon wafers to create chips, achieving line-width imprint accuracy exceeding 10 nanometers. It directly rivals Canon's most advanced nano-imprint equipment in Japan, even surpassing it in some parameters. Its emergence completely shattered the 20-year-long Western monopoly in high-end lithography. ASML's EUV lithography machine emits 13.5 nanometer extreme ultraviolet laser light, penetrating a lens system weighing over 10 tons to carve circuits onto wafers. An EUV machine costs over 1.5 billion renminbi, and the delivery wait is two years. Due to export bans, China is not even eligible to purchase it. Pulin Technologies PLSR takes a completely different approach. It presses circuit patterns onto wafers, like a stamp. During operation, a quartz template engraved with circuits is pressed against a silicon wafer coated with liquid glue. Ultraviolet light instantly cures the glue, and the pattern is directly formed. This physical imprinting method directly bypasses the optical diffraction limit of traditional photolithography. Theoretically, as long as the template is fine enough, the imprinting accuracy can reach below 2 nanometers, surpassing ASML's EUV physical limit of approximately 3 nanometers. Its cost is only 30% of that of traditional lithography machines, and its energy consumption is as low as one-tenth of EUV. The PULIN technology team is led by academician Stephen Cho, a pioneer in nanoimprinting technology, and 90% of its members hold masters or doctoral degrees. Over the past five years, they have overcome three major technical challenges, precise template bonding in a non-vacuum environment, dynamic control of 10 nanometer glue spraying, and control of the residual glue layer thickness. The PLSR, delivered in August 2025, achieved the key indicators of an average residual layer of less than 10 nanometers and an aspect ratio of greater than 7 to 1. The inkjet coating system, in particular, can dynamically adjust the amount of adhesive based on the chip structure, ensuring pattern edge error of less than 2 nanometers. This precision approach is that of ASML's EUV lithography machines, but at a fraction of the cost. By evenly splicing 20 mm times 20 mm templates, a 12-inch wafer can ultimately be covered. This opens the door to large-scale production of memory chips, as these chips feature highly repeatable patterns and are particularly well-suited for the stamping process. In August 2025, Yangtze Memory Technologies pioneered the introduction of PLSR equipment for pilot production of 232-layer 3D NAND flash memory. Test data showed that the imprint process reduced wafer edge roughness by 40%, significantly improving yield. PLSR has also been technically validated in silicon-based microdisplay chips and silicon photonics chips. Memory chips represent a strategic breakthrough for China's semiconductor industry. The global NAND flash memory market was projected to reach $67 billion in 2024, with China consuming 46% of that market share, yet its self-sufficiency rate remains below 15%. The mass production of PLSR will change this situation. Its cost advantage could reduce the price of domestic memory chips by 20%, directly impacting the market share of Samsung and SK Hynix. 
China's breakthroughs in lithography technology have already triggered a global industrial chain earthquake. In the first half of 2025, ASML's export orders to China plummeted by 60%, and its market value evaporated by 360 billion euros in a single day on August 16. In 2024, its CEO Christophe Fouquet warned that blockades would force China to innovate independently, a prediction that has now come true. In September 2024, Canon launched the FPA 1200 NZ 2C nano imprint lithography system, supporting 5 nanometers processors, but missed out on the market due to the embargo on China. PLSR, however, surpasses its performance using the same technology, directly snatching away potential customers. In July 2025, the electron beam lithography system, Shiji, developed by a team from Zhejiang University, entered the testing phase. It uses electron beam direct writing technology to write circuits directly onto wafers without a mask, achieving a precision of 0.6 nanometers, specializing in quantum chip manufacturing. Meanwhile, Shanghai Xinxiang Microequipment delivered 500 steppers to domestic packaging plants within six months, capturing 35% of the global advanced packaging equipment market. Its high-precision overlay technology supports the chiplet packaging needs of companies like Huawei High Silicon. PLSR's nanoimprint glue and quartz templates are both supplied by domestic companies with a 75% domestic equipment localization rate. Further upstream, Nanjing University of Science and Technology's 28 nanometers photoresist is already suitable for logic chip manufacturing, and Walter Gass's lithography gas mixture has been certified by ASML for use in 5 nanometers production lines. In 2025, the third phase of the National Integrated Circuit Industry Development Fund will invest 50 billion yuan to specifically address EUV light sources, photoresists, and other key areas. Industry chain data indicates that China's domestic production rate for DUV lithography equipment will increase to 20% by 2027, initially forming a closed loop of equipment, materials, and processes.